guys, Cindy out here with our monthly challenge. All right, for our monthly challenge, I talked to you guys about making one of these books, and this is done out of the Real Simple magazine. Now, um, I've been thinking about this book, and I've been thinking about it for quite a while now, and you know what? I was originally going to use this as a glue book, but um, I have decided, I'm going to put some more glue right there, I have decided that is not what I'm going to use it for. Um, what I have here, here's my, my book, so let me, i got to move my paint palette here, just move this aside. What I have, um, you, if, if you've watched my studio tour, you'll see on one wall, I have a great big wall full of um, chicken wire, and it's got a ton of clothespins on it that my granddaughter and I decorated. And throughout the year, as people send me things, um, whether it be a thank you for a happy mail or just a, you know, a tag because they want to, um, I post them, I put them all up on that wall and I call it my wall of fame. Well, for 2017, I had taken everything off the wall and put it down into this box and I'm thinking, I don't want it stuck in a box for the rest of its life. So... What I am going to do, this was sent to me by Wendy, um, I am going to get all of these goodies that are in here, as many as I can anyways, and I'm going to get them put into this book. Now, how am I going to do this? Okay, first of all, yes, this journal is going to go and it's going to be huge, right? That's all right. I don't care. That's what I want to use this journal for. So what I plan on doing is I plan on just, let's start, for example, this tag that was given to me by Wendy. Now, I don't want to lose the fact that Wendy sent it to me and when she created it, right? So if I just kind of glued it down, I'm going to lose all that. Now, I can if I want to glue it down and then I decide to write alongside of it from Wendy Mason. All right, so that's one idea I was thinking. The other thing I was thinking is, all right, so this is the back of a card. This is really cool. Um, I thought about instead of, you know, doing the whole card down, why not just wash it in here so that I can, you know, see the entire card. That's another idea. Um, some things... You know, I've got a front and a back, and I don't want to lose the back. I don't want to lose the front either. So, you know what? Washi's going to have to be the way, either washi or a masking tape, a decorative net masking tape, something of that nature, because I don't want to lose um, some of this information. Right? I, I just don't want to. I've got letters in here. I've got, um, you know, a lot of different correspondence that I don't want to lose, but I, I want to be able to go back and look at it. So what this is going to be for me, <clears throat> this is going to be my um, book of fame, that's what I'm going to call it, and I am going to start incorporating these items into this book. Now like I said, yes, it's going to get fat, it's going to get chunky, it's going to get huge. Um, am I going to have problems with the spine? I don't think so. So you're going to see me doing this. I'm actually going to work on this for quite a few hours tonight. At least that's my hope. And see how far I can get. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fast forward through the process. Let you guys, you know, see what's going on. And we'll go from there. All right. I hope you guys enjoy.
into a place where all of the thank you cards or get well cards or um, swap cards or business cards all ended up in this book. So I sat down on a Sunday. These are uh, postcards from Gina, whether I purchased something from her or she sent me something. Anything that anybody has made me, I'm trying to keep that glare off, sorry, um, or sent to me is in this book. This is from my granddaughter. She made this for me one day. This is Ann Williamson. And if there was anything written on the back of them, what I did is I, I used, what I used is decorative masking tape to put most of these in is I left them so that I could actually see on the back of them who they were from. So this is just a real quick um, flip through. I've got some letters here that people had sent to me, whether it be thank you notes or a swap note. And I've saved all these and I really wanted to put them in a place where I could see them again and I could read them or look at them. Right? So just all little goodies. This is what I ended up doing with it. Now don't get too disappointed. Oop, there's a page I missed. Actually there's a couple empty pages so we'll have to add some more stuff in here. What I did is I went from the front to the back to the front to the back. Um, at least I tried to. But I still have some empty places and I'm sure I have other things around the studio that people have sent to me uh, that I'm going to put in here. But like I said this is all things people sent that I actually made. <laughs> Um, like this, you're unusual, and I find that wonderful. <laughs> that funny. Um, but anyways, I this is my I call it my Hall of Fame or Wall of Fame, but this is my Wall of Fame book. So anybody that sent me anything, you might recognize something in here. Um, letters, different letters, different cards. Another letter. any little goodies so I really really fell in love with this idea because now I can actually sit down and look at the stuff this is a note um, that my granddaughter wrote 10 things she did this summer so I had to throw that in there an empty page must be I missed a few here and there but these like I said these are all cards and things people have sent that my granddaughter made Miss Haley, I love you so much. Get better. That's when I had a surgery. This uh, Haley made for me, this piece of fabric layout. This was a swap, a tag that I had received on a swap, a couple of them. This is a jean tag. And that comes out. These are all things that people had sent or made or swaps. Something we got when I was on vacation a while, long time ago down in Connecticut. It says if your clock is wound too tight, let the cuckoo out. <laughs> That's one that I made. So I still have some empty pages in this book. Um, I'm thinking seriously about waiting until I get enough stuff to finish it. I actually may even put um, this year's stuff in this book as well. And you can see how fat it is already. Can you imagine if I put this year's in it? <laughs> It'll be even bigger, which is all good. This is a canvas that Stacy had sent to me. That was really pretty. Let's see if I forgot a page yet. I love it. Just things that, you know, I can actually sit down and look at. Cards and tags and little projects. I love that. Another card, another card. So this is what I ended up doing with all the goodies that were over there on my wall. And like I said, you may recognize some of them if you've sent something to me. This is a place where Gina and I got our tattoos done in um, Las Vegas. Piece of Gina's art. Again, more notes, thank yous, um, etc. This was a birthday card for my sister. Hope your birthday doesn't stink. <laughs> Another one for my sister. So anyways, this is all the stuff, like I said, that was on my wall. And I've decided to put it all in my um, real simple magazine.
here it is. This is another place I get my tattoos done. I mean, I go down here and I see a gentleman named Boot. He owns the Aces High Tattoo. Um, fantastic shop. I that's where I like to go to get my tattoos done. So, very cool. All right. So there it is. I wanted to show you guys. Um, it's huge. It's thick, very thick, which I'm fine with that. I have this band. This came from um, the Smash Books. I actually have been picking these up on Tuesday morning. I get them for 99 cents a piece. And this is just a great band to use around the book as soon as I can get it on. Just like that. All right, so don't get too discouraged. I know I said I was going to do a grab and glue on this, but that's okay. I still have plenty of grab, grab and glue magazines to use. Um, but this real simple, it just really inspired me to put all of my goodness together. And here it is, and I thought I'd share with you guys. So you will be seeing more of the grab and glues. Um, like I said, I have many of them that I want to get done. And a few of them I'll work through on the process and show you guys how I get it done. All right? If you have any questions, comments, concerns, put them in the comments below. I'll be glad to answer them for you. As always, have fun. That's what life's all about. Happy creating, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.